Good morning, everybody. Hello. So today we are going to do a little bit more Keepa training, which is the tool that we've been covering the last few weeks. And we're going to dive into some more uh, of the tools that we use to help find good listings to sell on, on Amazon. Keepa is a wealth of information, products, find, well, not products product. is not the word that I'm looking for, but product finding, right? Listing finding data. I don't know you guys. I'm data I'm analysis. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. It's a wealth and we are helping you unpack that wealth. Continuing on with Adam's deep diving into Keepa. From family life to business life, we can do hard things. The, the Dauntless life. life. Let's talk business. All right. We're going to jump in here and take a look at the Keepa product finder tool. So I'm already on the tool here, but I'm going to start over here from the start here. Let's get on to Keepa.com. And I'm going to click on data. And then there's the product finder tool here. So what is the product finder tool? So this is basically a giant search filter that will go through every single listing on amazon.com that Keepa is currently tracking. And it will help you filter down to um, define whatever the filter you, you apply to it. So let me just show you how it works. <clears throat> So for example, very top item is sales rank and price types. So if I were to put in, so this sales rank, this is Amazon's best seller rank. Um, we talked about BSR, the best seller rank last week. So that is Amazon's ranking system for how that particular product is performing on Amazon. So let's just say I'm gonna put 100,000 in here, right? And then what I want you to notice is down here, this starts to show that there are current filter matches. So there are over 163 million products that match that have a, that start with 100,000. So let's just say we wanna filter from 100,000 to 200,000 bestseller rank on Amazon. Okay, click away from there. Now you can see it has filtered it down to 9 million products. Okay, so if I were to click on this find products, this is going to give me a list of all the products that fit within those rank across all different categories. Okay. So, so that's cool, but you know, still haven't shown you how this is useful. So I'm going to click back on the advanced filter. Um, so, and I'm going to show you some more of the filters, which there are just tons of filters here. Um, so you can have um, rank over a 30 day average, 180 day average, um, here is Amazon's price, you know, so this is like, what is the current price? You could say, Hey, I only want to look at things that Amazon selling from $10 to a hundred dollars or, or something like that. Um, this is the new seller price, FBA price, FBM price, use price, list price, lightning deal price, warehouse, and so on and so forth. You can see all these different buy box, tons of different filters to choose from where you can really get down to the nitty gritty of what you're looking for. Um, here you have category filters. So this is the root categories. Um, this is everything you would find also in the category tree. Um, and then these are the subcategories of the roots, um, text fields. So say if you wanted to find products that have something in the title, so you could say, uh, let's say you're looking for products that have the word fish in the title, right? If I click away from here, you can see there are over 2 million products that have the word fish in it. Um, um, or like one thing that might be helpful, maybe you wanna find things that are in multi-packs. So you type in two pack, right? 5 million products have the word two pack in the title. Um, so obviously that's, that's a ton of products you'd have to still like, you'd want to filter down more than just putting the word two pack in there, but I just want to show you some of these filters that are in here that can be very useful. So um, 
another one that's very helpful is brand. So let's just say you are wanting to find Nike products, right? Um, so actually Nike, sorry. And then I'm gonna click on Nike. And then you can see here that it selected Nike and there's over a million products with Nike. So let's say, okay, Nike and two pack. Oops, I didn't mean to click into it. Um, let me go back here. So there's over a thousand products that have the brand Nike and have the word two pack in the title, right? I'm gonna clear that out. I'm gonna clear the brand out again. Um, they have model, size, format, binding, part number, all of these things you can um, filter by. New offer count. Um, yeah, who has a buy box? Is it only third party sellers? Is it Amazon? Uh, is it a specific seller ID? Um, you could even type in, if you know what the store ID of, of a particular store, you can put that information here. You put up to 50 different stores here to see like all the products that those stores are selling. Um, is the buy box FBA? Um, is the buy box unqualified? I think that is, um, yeah. So I think this is where there's like, where the buy box is suppressed, which just means there is no buy box. Um, <clears throat> physical products, digital products, you know, you can uncheck those or check those. Um, when was the last time the price changed tracking, you know, what was, you know, you know, these are the dates that the products have been tracked through, um, 90 day out of stock from Amazon. So sometimes I'll use this because I don't like to compete against Amazon. So I will put, you know, Amazon's been out of stock over a 90 day period. So, um, so like usually like 50% or greater, um, Number of sales drops, right? We talked about that last week. We are always looking for listings that have at least 10 drops per month. So you could put in 10 right here if you wanted to. And so, you know, where this tool is very powerful is where you start um, layering these filters to get down to just the types of products that you're looking for. Now, this obviously can be very um, difficult to um like you know go through every single one of these filters and know even what which ones to to use um so i'm going to show you another way to uh get into the product um finder tool one second here there we go share my screen all right so i have this amazon listing here it's a jacuzzi toilet flapper I would not recommend trying to sell this product because this is a product I sell. I, I show all my students. But <clears throat> if we come back down to our Keepa graph here and I click on data, and there's all of these pink, all anywhere it's pink, these are all clickable links. And these a lot of these are actually going to land us into the product finder. So for example, let's say you know, I was selling this jacuzzi toilet flapper and you're like, hey, I wonder if there's any other products like the toilet flapper made by jacuzzi that I could sell. So you can come down to Keepa, come to data, come to product details and click on the brand jacuzzi, right? That's gonna open up the product finder tool that we were just in. Now, the, the views that I have set up across the top, you can see these columns Keepa does not come like this right out of the box. You can you can um, edit these. You can literally click and drag rows from left to right. You know, review count. You can move stuff around to being the in the view that you like in the order that you like. So <clears throat> right now this so this is all the you see there's seven thousand five hundred eighty five products made by the Jacuzzi brand. But you're like you know what. I don't want to see any products that don't have any more than, or I, don't, I only want to see products that have 10 drops per month or more. So you can either click on this advanced filter and you know find the number of drops. If I did a search and did drops, uh, you could go and find that information and put 10 there. Or 
you can actually do it right from the this product finder tool uh, grid and right next to the word dro drops the last 30 days, you can click there and I can type in, you know, greater or equals to 10 and hit apply. And then you can see here now there's there's only 35 of those products that have more than 10 drops per month. Uh, the other thing you could do is say, hey, I only want to sell products that cost or like the sell price is $50 or more. You, so maybe I come into this 30 day average buy box price and and apply filter here and say um, $50. So one of the things I want to show you is if I click back on the advanced filter, this is where it has all of those filters. You could you could you'll see those numbers that we've already we just applied in the grid so you can see um 30 day average fifty dollars right there right um if we went back to the drops <clears throat> you see it we applied 10 10 drops per month there so anything that i apply here in the in the grid also is in the advanced filter so this is very powerful because you can go from having literally thousands of products you're searching through to just having a handful that to look at when you're trying to find profitable products. Um, going back to the listing, same thing. So we did a brand search here. Um, so here's a product group, which I think this actually doesn't, let's just look and see what this does. Uh, yeah, actually this pulls us into the best seller, into the best seller tool, not the product finder tool. Um, but let's say, let's go into offers. And let's just pick on this top offer right here and look at, see this has a storefront, this, so this is pulling up basically this, it, this is the product finder for this particular, this particular person's store, right? And so I can, I can then filter, you know, same kind of thing. I can come in here, how many sales, you know, what is the drops in the last 30 days? I can do greater than 10 here. Right. And so <clears throat> all of these things, all of the columns that are represented here, you can see there's tons and tons of columns. Those are all the same columns that are represented in the advanced uh, product finder. Um, so let's see, what else can we click on? So we did um, brand, we could do category, tools and home improvement. Actually, no, this is pulling up the best seller again here too. But what, let's do this. Let's click into, um, let's just go to keepa.com. Use my little. And let's click on data, product finder. Now I'm just gonna come down to the category option here, root category, tools and home improvement, right? So how, how can these help? So like, let's say you're selling screwdriver. So tools and home improvement, let's do hand tools. So there's power and hand tools, bam, 4 million products. Okay, uh, let's just click on find product. Let's just look at all four. I mean, obviously it's not gonna pull up 4 million. It only shows a hundred rows at a time. You can change this to more rows, but I will tell you the more that you, more rows you have and the more data it pulls up, the more of this data, like you're given a quota every day of how much data you can use on keepa.com. And so right now, like I have, I bought extra data. And so right now I've used 70% of, or next 70%, well, 70% of 200 I've used so far. Um, but let's just click in here. Like, you know, there's gonna be a lot of stuff we don't really wanna sell because a, maybe it doesn't sell for enough, you know, like we, you know, if you, if you're wanting to sell this, this tool here, it only costs nine or only selling for $9, you'd have to get it for like a dollar to make anything after all Amazon's fees. So, you know, we would want to come and filter this so that, you know, we want to look at things that sell for more money. So let's maybe say $30 or more, right? Um, let's say, <clears throat> go into our sales rank drops per month. Uh, greater than here equals to 10. Um, here's the Amazon out of stock availability. You could do that, or we could do this 90 day out of stock. This is what I was talking about where I set for 50%. I'm gonna say 
90 days out of stock for Amazon greater than 50% of the time. So that means over a 90 day period, Amazon's out of stock more than 50% of the time, 50 or more, right? So that that way you can see like 100% of the time on a lot of these, a lot of these listings, Amazon's just out of stock, right? <clears throat> the other thing you might consider doing is how many people are selling the offer, you know, you know, the listing. So a lot of private label sellers are going to be the only person on the listing. So you see a lot, of, a lot of these listings have one seller. So maybe I'll filter this and say, let's say um, greater or equals to three, right? Because <clears throat> sometimes on a private label listing, they may be selling it both FBA and FBM, which is fulfilled by Amazon and fulfilled by merchant. So having three different sellers on it means that usually there's multiple third-party sellers like ourselves selling on that listing. So we'll hit that filter. And so now we're down to 6,542. So you can see the power of the these filters where we can drill down into something to try to find specific criteria that might work for to be a good listing that we would want to sell on. Um, so, and then from there, you can, you know, click into here, look at the graph, <clears throat> look at the data, see if it has good price stability, see how many, you can see how many sellers are currently on this. Um, you can see here, this one actually looks like they stopped uh, tracking the rank, either that or it's the rank actually, no, I'm, that's the rank is just so low that you can't see it. It's, it's like blended in with the top bar here. Um, <clears throat> and then from there, a lot of times what I'll do, it's like, hey, I want to look at the Amazon listing. And so I'll right click on the Amazon listing and open it up in a new tab. And that way I'm not losing this page here and I can examine the Amazon listing for further review. So you can see there's this Victorinox Classics SD7 function pocket knife uh, selling for $33.18. That seems like a lot of money for a little pocket knife. Um, and then you can start searching, see if you can find this little pocket knife um, to, to resell. Let's just do that real quick. I'm going to highlight that, search Google for that. So you can see that's a sample. Custom logos. So you can see that Swiss Army Knife, they sell it for $20. I'll we'll put in my little calculator here. So it looks like you can make $5 or 26% ROI on that particular item. So, but it says it sells a lot, but granted, there's also all these different colors and variations across that item. So, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick preview of how powerful the product finder tool is and can be, um, and how also just the different methods you can actually get into the tool um, from, from an Amazon listing. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have more any questions or would like more training on how to use this tool to find profitable Amazon listings to sell on, uh, give us a shout, email us, and that will be down in the details. Thank you guys, have a great day. If you like our Dauntless Vibe, then go ahead and like and subscribe. <laughs>